okay so it's so good to have you guys back on the channel and um this tutorial is gonna be different i don't know why maybe because i have you know an audio and um not just the sound but you can actually listen to the sound the background and everything is gonna be good so like i have a tutorial to show you guys on how to you know create sheets in autocad oh rather i mean rabbit so like we're gonna be doing it so have you ever, ever seen roofs like this and you were like oh how is this possible the only thing you just need to understand is think of everything in Revit as a model so i'm gonna go into the tutorial for you so you just go to the roof level and then pick your roof and then do it the normal way you used to do it because this is a rectangular roof so like i'm not a perfectionist though i am but not yeah so you can just mark it and um no so i can select the roof and then go to my 3d and um look it from front and try to select it again just to you know put it at the right spot so i'm gonna be like pointing it there so that is where it's gonna be and if i'm okay with the eyes not really so let me just come to the degree and um change it to something big like 45 okay so if this is where i want to go with so that's it but how does the magic comes in so that is what i actually want to share with you click the roof and um come down here ah change it to a sloped glazing so we have something like this it looks like a glass don't really worry i'm gonna be showing you how to do all of the stream so you come to this edit side and um the first grid you can actually click a fixed distance then you know just input your distance or whatever you want to put so i can actually apply this and um, apply and check what happens so okay one five not really let me go with something like 300 or something great like something small not 30 300 then i can hit apply like click on apply then wait for <clears throat> okay so the thing is actually coming up uh, and then i don't know if you guys can actually see this is coming up okay so the next thing you can do we're not adding you know a second grid because this is just what we need and um you know the grid one the mullion interior type i think you can actually change this to something else just to increase the thickness of you know the i don't know what to call it like it looks like the shit i mean like the metal on the shape that's what i'm trying to say not that like a shape so i think that's as, 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 as increasing so i can actually like close but we're still gonna be coming back to it so like you have something like this on the roof but it's, it's still like it, it looks like ah is this a roof or a glass okay so like you can actually click on you know the roof again let me select this side okay so you can come to the edit type again and um for i think is the border line okay let me just try it and um click this and check what happens here if that is it and if that is not it bet it with me so you guys can actually like instead of pausing not knowing what to do kindly subscribe to the channel because it, it helps me a lot with you know the youtube algorithm okay so this is what i really want to do click on the roof uh go to the edit the first mullion as creator you can actually see we have something here and um to the grid type two i think it should be this let's try it and if that is not for the rich cap that is what i'm trying to do is it there not yet okay so we can click it again go to the edit type that means that is not what we need so we can actually click on this and um none okay so let's check on this the second one maybe maybe that is it as well i think let's check the border so uh for that we can click on this 30 the one we've been using and if that is it so good the lip movement what the fuck still not it okay so let's that's it <laughs> just kidding okay so like this is literally what i actually want to share with you so if you guys can 
you know go to your 3d you can go to your natural example level like select the camera uh, i mean this and um, let's try to look at something great okay look at it point at something and um make this up well it's not literally showing from here but let's let, let's look it from this i mean the floor and um, maybe the front so we can actually mark that then then go to the natural gun floor level and um just view it from is that the front of the bag that is the bag then why did i just choose that okay we're just looking at the roof okay that is just what we're gonna see so okay so that's it that's it shaded okay now it's it's looking like the roof but um this is where the magic comes in go to the edit type and um there should be somewhere where you can edit this where is it where is it where are you hiding not this not this No, no, we're not renaming. So if you guys actually want to change, you know, the the thickness of like the sheet or whatever, the iron, the metal, that is where you change it. Okay, okay. Um, see that way. That is gonna be current panel. Uh, solid apply to make it solid instead of being transparent I think mm. so we can actually go to the 3d now and um check it check it out bro mm. so for the the ridge is gonna be like bigger than all of this so that is when you can go back to this and um, change this to something like 50, 120 and this uh, same thing, 50, 120 so you can click on apply and uh, let's wait for the magic to show, okay mm. click on okay and then we're done, voila it's somehow not really clean because you can like still have some things going up here but from afar it looks really good like it's it, it looks like like wow what the fuck so if you actually want to create like a you know a banging 3d let me just try and um increase the environment instead of having it to be like small so i can mark and then go to the natural flow and um try to create a view from here Ooh. Okay, we got something great there yeah, to view. Yeah. What is this? What is this? In my model, I don't know what that is. So we can just close this, right? Raise this up. Boom. Like, so you can just come to it on your shade. Let me just do some magic before you guys actually notice what I'm doing. So click this, the shadow on it, sketch, lines, three, ah, the magics, okay, one, two, oh my god, so just to make it look good, you can go back to the natural ground floor and create a kind of a wall, sorry, wall, W, A, the shortcut, no, we created it as unconnected. And then let's make it a kind of a 2-5 or oh, oil. Oh. So we can just run it from here. Back here. So I can change like the, the perimeter AL for align. Then I click this, I click this, I click this, and I click this. Boom. Go back to the 3D. Ah, so we have something great something good okay so 
that's that's what I want to share with you guys. So hope you like this and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Okay, bye. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That's it. Love you. F9. Mm.